In this video, I'll show you the best export settings in Camtasia for videos you want to upload to YouTube. The process is slightly different depending on if you're using Camtasia on a Mac or a Windows PC, so I'll demonstrate both. Let's get into it. So there are two things I need to get clear right from the start. Number one is that export does not equal save. It's not the same thing. When I'm talking about exporting, I'm talking about taking the video out of Camtasia and getting it into a form where you can upload it or view it elsewhere. Uh, saving would be just saving your Camtasia project. That's not what we're doing here. The second thing I want to point out is that exporting is also the same thing as rendering. So with some other video editing software, they use the term rendering a lot more than exporting, but here in Camtasia, the term exporting is used. So it's the same thing, exporting and rendering. Having said that, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that in Camtasia for Mac first, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in Camtasia for Windows. If you wanna skip ahead to that, just go to the timestamp that I've got on the screen here. So in Camtasia for Mac, there are two places you can go to initiate and export. So the first place is you can go up to the top here where it says export and click on that and you can click local file here. You can also click YouTube here and some other places you want you may want to export it to. This video I'm going to show you how to specifically do it for YouTube, but I don't typically do it this way. I'll just show you what happens if I click that. It allows you to sign into your YouTube account and then you can export it directly to YouTube. I don't recommend doing that because I like to see exactly what's going on at every step. So I don't do it this way. So let's just cancel out of here. So the other place you can go, instead of just going to export up here, is go to export up here, this big green button in the right, and that's typically the way I do it. So let's click on this button here. And then as you can see, you can go to the U export to YouTube here. Again, that's the same as I had just shown you in the other location that brings up this dialogue here. Again, that's not the way I do it. So click on the export button again. What you wanna do is click on local file here. That'll bring up a dialog box that'll allow you to export your file. So the first thing you wanna do, if you don't see it looking like this, you may have to click this little icon here that will expand it. So if you if you see this, just click on this down arrow here and that'll expand it. So first thing you wanna do is give your file a name. You wanna export it as, and you can type in your name here. And then next you wanna define where you wanna save it to. So you can select from folders in here or you can define your folders over in this side over here. I can just click on documents and that will save this file name as an MP4 file in this folder structure. So next thing you wanna do is come down here to the bottom where it says file format, and I'll just click this to expand this. You wanna leave this on export to MP4. That's the file type you need to be able to upload to YouTube. Now the next thing you wanna do is click on options right here. That will open up the options window. And a lot of the things in here don't need to be changed, but let me just quickly go through them. So the frame rate, I always leave this on automatic. That way it will keep the frame rate uh, to whatever you defined it as when you set up your project. Same thing with dimensions, you can leave that on current. Um, let's say I set it up as a 4K project. I, I could click 4K here, but if I just leave this on current, it will export uh, the same size as I have set the project up. Now, if you set up a project as a 4K project, but you wanna export a, a 720p version of it, you could do that. Um, in that case, you would just select 1280 by 720 here and force it to render a smaller size. But I'm just gonna leave that set to current. Next thing is the data rate. So I always leave this at automatic. That's all, I find that works best for me when uploading to YouTube. If you wanna force it to, to render it at a much higher bit rate or higher quality, and in a lot of cases you can't even really tell the difference between uh, what, what you get with automatic versus the highest possible quality, um, you can try doing that by clicking custom and then dialing up your kilobits per second up at a, to a higher value. That'll generate a much larger file size and in a lot of cases it's not needed. You can't even tell. A lot of times you can't even tell the difference. Um, so I just leave this on automatic. The compression type, you want to leave that set to H.264. Uh, the key, fr key frame rate, I have that set to 30. Optimized for, I leave this set to download. And then the profile and the entropy settings, I don't touch those at all. 
For audio, I have encode audio checked and I have enable smoothing checked and I leave the data rate set to automatic. And then when all that is set, just click OK. So now with the name of the file set, the location is going to be saved and the options gone through, all you have to do is click export. And then the file will render or export and you can see it happening in real time. And then when it's all finished, you can go and get your file and then you can upload it to YouTube. So that's how you export or render a video from Camtasia on a Mac. Now let me show you how to export or render your video from Camtasia on a PC. So as with the Mac, there are two locations you can find this. Up here in the top left, you can click on export and then local file here. Okay, if you click on that, that will bring up this local file box. Let me just close that. Or you can go up to this green export button. Click on that and then you want to click on local file. That'll bring up this export local file box. So what you want to do is you want to give your file a name right here. You want to change the file type to MP4. Okay, that's what you're going to need to upload it to YouTube. And then you want to set your save location right here. Okay, let's just change the file name here. Test 2. Next thing you want to do is you want to look at the advanced settings. Now if you don't see advanced settings, they may be collapsed. So you may see this, right? And if that's all you see, just click this down arrow to, to open it up. So under advanced settings, I don't typically pay attention to the preset here. You can use it to set your own presets, but I typically just go through these one at a time anyways. So under dimensions, you can click here and I usually leave current project dimensions selected. So that would just render the video at the dimensions that I set for the project. But if I want to, let's say I set the project as a 4K video, but I want to render a lower quality 720p version of it. In that case, what I could do is just select the lower quality here like this and it would render a 720p version. Okay, but let's just change this back to current project dimensions and then click on encoding. So this is where you get to set the quality of your render or your export. You can set the frame rate here and you typically want to set that to the same value that you, you set your project as. And in my case, that's 30 frames per second. Uh, the keyframe, you can leave that set to every five seconds. The quality I have set at 50%. Now that's typically all you need uh, for the best quality that you'll get out of your video for uploading it to YouTube. Okay, but if you want a higher bit rate or you want to force it to create a better quality, you may not be able to tell that the quality is better, but you will end up with a larger file size. So it's something you may want to play with. I find 50% is just fine. So I'll leave that set to 50%. And then you may want to check this uh, use GPU encoding button. If you have a good graphics processing unit GPU in your computer, then by checking this, that may speed up the render speed. And then with all that set, all you have to do is click on export here. And your video will go ahead and render or export in the location that you want. And then you can go find that video and upload it to YouTube from there. If you want more tips like this, come join me on Tuesdays for my weekly live stream. I live stream every Tuesday here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.